Uh, you do better than that. Yeah. Calling okay. this vlog to order. Oh, nice. I don't know about order, but yeah, yeah. we're here. That's uh, Friday, June 21st. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Uh, chips out this week, so I'm sitting in the chip chair. You're sitting in the Brandon chair. Yep. Um, so welcome Nova Romero, our wonderful city clerk. Thank you. I um, want to hear from you in a little bit about the upcoming election, um, but I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple of things before that. Um, I want to let everyone know that uh, next week will be a final round of interviews for uh, my replacement in the Community Planning and Building Department, the Director of Community Planning and Building. We've done one round of interviews. We had some wonderfully qualified candidates. And then next week, we will conduct the final round of interviews and hopefully find someone um, to make an offer to. We'll that's, welcome that's a new exciting. member of our team to the community. And uh, that's such a you know pivotal position that when they're in town, um, we'll make sure that they get around and say hello to everybody. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait to meet them. Me too. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm very excited to pass the baton off on that job. Um, the big thing I want to talk about Nova is the post office. So this has been going on since April 26 when our post office was hit by a 4,000 pound wrecking ball with a Tesla logo on the front of it. Um, and there's been a lot of, lot of talk recently about, you know, what the holdup is. And certainly there is a holdup. Um, but I just want to make sure everyone's aware that the city is not involved in the holdup at all. Um, the reality is, is that we have yet to even see an application from the property owner. One of the, one of the complicating factors here is that it's a building that's owned by a private person, um, managed by a third party property manager, leased to the United States federal government. Um, and there is currently an insurance claim going on. So there's a lot of moving parts and pieces in this, um, in this situation. So the most recent update, I, I inserted myself a little bit this week because it really has been dragging on too long. And, and I was hearing from people, you know, what's going on? Why isn't the city approving a permit? It's been one, because we don't have an application from anybody. Um, but I spoke to the property manager. I uh, met today with the postmaster. Uh, the property manager is waiting for the insurance claim to go through so that they know how much money is going to be covered um, before they cut their contractor loose to submit an application and get the drawings done. Um, that's a decision that they've, they've made. Um, I did meet with the postmaster today. Um, there was some early on conversations about doing some interior temporary work to make the lobby somewhat functional. There were concerns initially about that, you know, interfering with the operations and maybe not working. So myself and Jamel Lowry, our building official, and Dwayne Dauphiny, our building inspector, went down there today, walked the site with the postmaster, and came up with a scheme for how to build some temporary walls inside so that folks can get into the lobby. Um, I talked to Manko Abbott, the property manager, and they agreed to pay for that temporary work right away. Um, and so we're going to meet them down there tomorrow on site, the contractor. Um, I'm sorry, today. Yeah, I, today. My days are all, all, all messed up. Um, today, Friday, uh, we're going to meet with them at uh, around 10 o'clock um, to walk the site and, and lay out the job. So hopefully within the next few days, we'll have something built so people can get into the lobby uh, from that Fifth Avenue side. So a lot of action this week. Um, you know, again, we're sorry that the post office hasn't been open, but rest assured, it's nothing that, that we could do about it. Um, and typically, we don't insert ourselves in private property matters like this, but um, you know, I felt like this was important enough to kind of break the protocol of, of inserting ourselves between a property owner and a, a property renter. Um, so you should see some action down there pretty soon. Um, so I wanted to let, make sure people knew about that. And that's what I got, Nova. Um, what do you want to talk about? So I just want to talk about um, the election is coming. So the nomination period, if you're interested in running for, um, we have two city council seats and the mayor seat that are up for election this year. If you're interested, the nomination period starts Monday, July 15th, and it ends August 9th at 5 p.m. So I'm available if anyone wants to contact me now by phone you can call me at 831-620-2016 what's that number 620-2016 thank you and or you can email me at cityclerk at cbts.us um, to make an appointment um, because you, you have to make an appointment to schedule a time 
to get your nomination papers. Because um, it takes a little bit of time. To it do. does. It's not just a come in for 30 seconds. It's a process. No, it's a little bit of a process. So if you're interested, um, well, actually, the first thing you should do is definitely make sure you're a registered voter in Carmel. Um, a quick way to check your voter status online for potential candidates or just anybody who wants to make sure that they're registered is to go to voterstatus.sos.ca.gov. And you just quickly type in your name and a little bit of info and it'll tell you if you're registered, where you're registered. And if you're not, there's a link where you can click to make sure you are registered to vote. And we can put we can put something, a link to that on the in the Friday letter yeah. today. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and I do have like general information on the city's website now. Um, if you go to the city's website, go to government, and then scroll down to elections, there's a whole page I have with Great. dates, uh, my contact info, just kind of general requirements for running for office. So if you want to learn a little bit about it before you have your appointment, you can do that now. And then the other thing I wanted to mention was um, the city council meeting date for July. It's not going to be the first week of July like it usually is because there's a holiday that week. So it is bumped to the second week of July. So there will be a special city council meeting Monday, July 8th at 4.30. Mm -hmm. And then the regular meeting will be on Tuesday, July 9th at 4.30. I'll right. also put a reminder in, in the Friday letter, of course, yeah. just because I know it's a little bit weird um, when there's a holiday. It can, can kind of shift the dates a little. Exactly. Yep. That's what you got? Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, the city administration counter office will be closed next Wednesday, uh, June 26th from 1 to 5. Uh, we're closing the window so that we can process all of the um, business license renewal worksheets and get them mailed out before the end of the month. There's so, so it's, not, it's a crazy number. It's like 1,800, 1800 business licenses we process. Yeah, it, it's a lot. Of, and um, It's a team effort. We're all working together to get the notices printed, um, folded, stuffed, postmarked, mailed, everything. It's quite the assembly line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... Um, if, if you have a business license, you should be expecting to get your worksheet in the mail probably the following week, so like the first week of July. Great. You should get it. Wonderful. Well, thanks, Nova. Um, I hope you have a lovely weekend thanks. with your family. Um, and everybody out there, you know how we say goodbye? Yep. Okay, then take, take good, good care. care.